Hello. Welcome to Creatures Apps. In this video we will see how to edit a simple page with images and text. We'll start by adding an HTML page to the application, and we'll see the two possibilities you can edit your content. Go for it. Well, we are in the page editing section. We are going to add a new page. Watch how it is done. To add a new page to your application, click on plus button. This will take you to the functions section where you will find all the functions you can add to the application. In this case, choose a simple HTML page. Just check the box to select the function you want to add. For example, we will use the page for business content. In Creatures Apps, we have more than 100 functions to make your application rich in content. With these steps you can add any of these functions to your application. When you have chosen the page, click next to continue. In the next screen, you must choose a name for this page. The name you decide, is just a reference for you, choose a name you can remember. Later, you'll need to link this page with a button. Use only letters and numbers, it is not recommended to use underscores, or other characters. Click add page to continue. You will then enter the configuration section of the page. This will happen every time you add a new page to your app. Normally, you will see the preview in the center. To the right the possible configurations. And to the left the design tools. We have two different types of tools to edit the contents of the pages. On the one hand we have the layout elements. With the layout elements you can edit complete elements. For example, you can edit all the characteristics of a whole paragraph, an image, a button, and so on. You can also add full items, buttons, images, menus, etc. On the other hand, you will find the tools of design, with them you will be able to make a multitude of additions. You have basic tools, similar to editing a document, but you also have advanced tools like adding a product to a shopping cart, adding a PayPal button accessing a map, and much more. We are going to make some additions so that you know it better. We will begin the editing with the layout elements. To activate the layout elements, click once on the box. Now you will be able to select complete elements. An element can be the title, an image or a text area. As you can see, simply by placing the mouse cursor over an element, you will see the entire element shaded green. Hover over the item you want to edit and click to select it. First, let's edit the title. Hover the mouse cursor to check the entire area of the item. Click to select it. Now let's make another click to open the element properties window. In the configurations window you can make all the settings that the selected item contains. As you can see, our system is very complete. You can make as many configurations as you can imagine. Each category contains a series of fields that we can configure. But let's look at the basic settings for this page type. In the first category you will always find the HTML settings, depending on the element you will find different fields. As this element is simply text, you can change the contents of the text. To change the text, simply delete the current text and type the text you want. In this example, I will write the word title. You can write the title you want. It is advisable to have the title on a single line. When you're done, click on apply to make the changes. Let's see how the change that we have made remains. Ok, now we see how the title has changed. As you can see, working with layers of elements is very simple. Let's edit another element. Now we will change the image. Again, we will repeat the steps to open the configuration window of the item. Place the mouse cursor over the image, click to select item. And another click to open the element configuration window. Again, we found the main configuration in the HTML category. And to the right the properties of the category. As this element is an image, in the field, we see the current image. Click the edit button to access the application's resource manager and search for another image. As you know, the resource manager will show you all the files in the application. Among them, the images. Select any file to view. 
Search for an image among the application's resources or use the Upload button to upload your own image. When you have chosen an image, click on Choose to continue. As you can see, we have already changed the image in the configuration field. We have placed slider 1. Now click Apply to see the changes. There is the new image. You already know how layers of elements work, the perfect thing is that you practice these steps in test pages until you have mastered it. Now we are going to edit the title again, but we will also format it. For now, we will continue working with layout elements. Repeat the steps, again, place the mouse cursor over the item you want to edit. Click to select it. And click again to open the item configuration window. The configuration window always opens showing the last category in which you have worked. Click on the text tab. In this category you have all the necessary fields to format the text. You can change the text color, size, font type, etc. I'm going to resize the text, I'll leave it at 18. I will also change the color, simply click on the color field to open the color selector and select the color you prefer. If you prefer, you can also write the color code. When you have it click on OK. OK, let's see how it's going. Again, click apply to close the settings window. Well, now the title has the new size and color that we have given. We will continue to edit it so you can see how the changes affect the text. To do this, we select it again and click to open the configuration window. The window will open for the text category, which was the last one we work with. Now I will put a larger text, for example, of size 25. Click apply to see the change. Perfect, now the title has a larger size. As you can see, it has been very simple, practice with the other configurations to see the results. I recommend that you save the page when you make changes that you like, this way, if you make a change that you do not like and you cannot go back, you can reload the page to return to the save point. Let's now see how to work with the design tools. To activate these tools, Simply click on the box. The upper buttons of these tools will serve to format the text. With them you can format the text as you would any text editor. It is very simple and intuitive, so we will not explain it in as much detail as we have done with layers of elements. Simply select the text you want to edit and go formatting. Modify the size to your liking, align the text, change it to italic or bold, or change its color. In short, you will work the text with simplicity. Let's see some effects. Always select the text you want to edit first. It is aligned to the left. We align it in different ways to see the effect. Notice how the text moves from side to side. We can select all the text or just a word, a line, etc. Now we will play with the description. I will put it in bold, in italics. In bold and in italics. I'll move it to the right. As you can see, the design tools in the text editing area are similar to any text editor. Practice with them everything you need to get a result that is to your liking. Remember that we are to support you. Use the support chat whenever you have any questions or need support to build your application. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. We wish it was helpful to you. We do not see in the next video. See you soon.